Hey everybody, it is uh, day two of fasting. So we started, what's today? Today's Monday, so Saturday night at 8 p.m. Uh, I started my prolonged fast. Uh, filmed a video yesterday, uh, which uh, probably came out a few days before this video is coming out. Um, and the, so right now we are what? Let's see. It is four o'clock, so we're four hours away from the 48. So we're at 44 hours right now uh, on the uh, what was originally planned to be about an 80-hour fast. Uh, actually, 84 hours. I think the time works out uh, correctly. And so I wanted to talk through uh, just a few things from today. Um, that might help give you guys some insight into uh, you know the longer fast why I'm doing it uh, which I kind of went into uh, on the other video uh, but just some things that I encountered today so um, I'm a very high catecholamine person which means that um, my uh, epinephrine and norepinephrine and cortisol are generally on the higher ends which um, it makes me a bit more energetic most of the time, uh, but uh, can kind of tip me over when I'm doing fasting into uh, being a little bit more irritable, a little bit more kind of jittery, um, and so I have to make some adjustments. Now, normally those adjustments are pretty simple. I drop my caffeine intake because I don't need as much of that stimulus, uh, and I bring on board uh, some, uh, basically some supplements that kind of help to modulate that increase in adrenaline, uh, noradrenaline or epinephrine and norepinephrine and cortisol. And so, uh, today what that looked like was, um, I believe I did about 600 milligrams of L-theanine so far, uh, which is going to help calm some of the receptors in the brain to not dump out as much epinephrine and norepinephrine. Um, and there's one other thing that I did. Oh, nasal breathing. Nasal breathing is always a big one for me on that uh, because that helps to, again, just kind of uh, downregulate that sympathetic nervous system and, uh, or sorry, downregulate, yeah, downregulate the sympathetic nervous system so that the parasympathetic nervous system uh, is allowed to kind of show itself a bit more. Um, oh, and the other thing that I did was phosphatidylserine, which um, has been shown to help lower cortisol levels. Um, uh, in the future on some longer fasts, I'm going to uh, experiment uh, with a few other things that might uh, modulate the GABA receptors a little bit more, something like Phenibut or something like that, um, just to kind of see how I do with that. Um, or a, an herb called Rawolfia, which uh, has reserpine in it, which actually helps to reduce catecholamine release uh, in the uh, central and peripheral nervous system, more so in the peripheral nervous system, um, that's, that uh, used to be used a lot for hypertension. Uh, and so I'm probably going to pick up some of that and experiment with that just so I can try and get a, uh, a little bit better baseline so I'm not so jittery. Um, I have decided to do uh, an experiment and part of the reason why is because today is my wife and I's one year anniversary. And so I'm going to eat dinner tonight uh, because I wanted to uh, plan a dinner with her. And, you know, we got social quarantining going on right now. And so we're not able to go out for dinner. And so I wanted to do something with her at home. And so I've decided to kind of adjust my fast. And what that's probably going to look like is um, probably in about, oh, I'll say uh, half an hour to an hour or so, I'm going to break my fast. It's around 4.35 p.m. Break my fast with some bone broth again. Usually after these longer fasts, we want to uh, not just jump right into uh, solid food. It's nice to kind of ease the stomach into it uh, with uh, something like a bone broth or a soup. Um, and then probably about an hour after that, we are having a ribeye and New York steak strip uh, dinner um, with some veggies and, and that type of stuff. And, uh, and then we're going to have uh, uh, cupcakes afterwards and the story behind that is uh, so at our wedding we decided not to keep any of the cake um, we did a mini cake for ourselves and then cupcakes for everybody else but we decided we didn't want to put something in the freezer for a year take it out and eat it again and so we're just going to be getting uh, basically what we had on our wedding night um, well kind of because that place is closed right now because of all this stuff that's going on. So we're getting the best that we can. But anyways, so that's what I'll probably do. But what I'm going to do then is I'm likely going to go back into fasting tomorrow. 
And so um, today will kind of be like a, an OMAD or a one meal a day. So I'll get to see how that feels. Um, and then tomorrow we'll go back into fasting. And then originally I was going to plan on uh, breaking my fast. See, tomorrow's Tuesday, Wednesday morning. Um, but I might extend it out to Thursday morning, depending how I feel with kind of this, uh, this change that I'm making in it. So um, that's kind of where we're at right now with the fasting. Um, and then right now I'm actually going to go, we're going to answer some uh, Q&A on, uh, that came through on Instagram on different things around fasting. So I'm going to get that. We're going to film that separately. Um, but you guys will have access to that and everything like that. So um, be flexible in your fasting schedules. That's something that I think I'm learning from this. Um, and uh, it's important to be able to be flexible. Um, but yeah, so hope you guys are having a good day. See you later.